Soybeans are North Dakota's top crop. More than 6 million acres are grown each year with a value of more than $2 billion. Between 70 to 90 percent of the state's soybean crop is sold to China and other Asian countries, and the rest is put to good use here in the U.S. Rose Dunn shows us where North Dakota soybeans go in this installment of our Planting to Processing series. Traditionally, North Dakota soybeans leave the Pacific Northwest as whole beans, heading for China and other Asian countries, where they're crushed and used as feed for swine, poultry, and aquaculture. But with the current loss of the China market, growers are looking at other ways to market soybeans. Joe Morkin, the current chair of the North Dakota Soybean Council, is hoping a crushing plant being considered in Spiritwood, North Dakota, goes forward. It would be huge. You hate to have all your all your eggs in one basket, right? And so by having a crush facility in the state, it would allow us uh, a different avenue with our beans. Crushing produces soybean meal used for animal feed and oil used for cooking or renewable fuel. We try to use it on the farm. Uh, we'd like more truckers to use it. But right now the big players are the coasts. And then the heating fuel industry in New York, uh, the state of New York, is, is a big game changer over there. In fact, Morgan says the state of New York is working toward being 100% biofuel for home heating. And soybean meal is an important feed for livestock producers. Soybean meal is an extremely good feed resource for all species of animal egg. It's high protein, it's very palatable, so the animals really take to it. They utilize our manure to grow their soybeans, which then end up feeding our animals. So it's a, in all ways, soybean is very useful to us. The North Dakota Soybean Council works to promote soybeans and find new uses and markets for them to help withstand any turbulence in international trade. You know, there's all sorts of research being done in the world of paints and plastics, uh, polymers, and, and things like that. Sinner says North Dakota soybeans are in high demand around the world because they're known for their high quality. Year after year, they get good, clean beans that then translates to a good, clean product. This is Rose Dunn for Ag Week. You can read much more in the next Ag Week magazine or on agweek.com.